Hello and Hello. welcome to another great, amazing Sumo meeting. Um, so let's get started with the previous action items. Uh, yes. Is anyone recording this, by the way? Yes, it's being recorded. Are you recording with video, Michael? Someone told me video recording. It does look like that can be uh, used now, but I'm doing it the other way. Anyway, it's easier to upload to YouTube, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so there are a few previous action items for myself to follow up um, with the triage day information uh, that was done. And then also another one was to start a start Star Trek forum thread, which is there. So if you guys have any anything to comment about Captain Kirk versus Captain Picard, please go to the Star Trek <laughs> forum thread and place your opinion. It is very, very important who wins. Um, what did I miss? Uh, so this was the meeting that I wasn't part of. <laughs> yes. Oh, see, I we decided. I hold up <laughs> this way. I introduced my guys there on top of the computer. They're Star Trek <laughs> guys right there, and that's how we started talking about Star Trek. And then it became an action. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. see. I mean, it makes total sense. <laughs> it's to <laughs> makes total sense. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's move on to Sumo Dev Update. Ricky, hola. Hola, where's the here? We need him. <laughs> um, so the major things we're working on is the new landing pages for topics, subtopics, products. And we are doing the rework um, of topics so that they are um, uh, product-based. So instead of having flat topics, Every product is going to have, have its own set of topics. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Some of you were at the KD meeting. Um, so we're doing that change for mostly for Firefox OS because it has different topics than desktop and Android. And then so we're working on that this week. And we're working on the alert system for for when Marketplace goes down and stuff like that. So we, we're going to add site-wide alerts. To Sumo, so that we can inform you when when, uh, when something is wrong with the whole Firefox OS ecosystem. So those we're going to try to focus just on those kind of bloggers for Firefox OS and not change too much else, so that we can keep everything stable for uh, for launch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Great stuff. Um, any questions for Ricky and Sumodev? If not, we can move on to UX update. Uh, Kadir is not here. I'm not sure if anybody can talk about this. Maybe it's, you, Ricky, do you have any idea? It's the same thing, really. What? <laughs> UX. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it, it is related to UX, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you, I mean, like I said, we're, we're doing the, the product, the product topic and subtopic landing pages, so that's basically UX update. Okay. Cool. I, I guess the other UX thing that we should table for later is what we, I resurrected an old thread because I was frankly still catching up on email this morning. Um, mm -hmm. Now I'm back to zero unread messages though, so I feel pretty good about that. And it's up at six again in this meeting, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> But uh, this thing about the, the top nav and uh, you know how that relates to breadcrumbs and how to, you know this whole main navigation, I think that that would be something that would be cool to discuss at some point. Uh, but as I said in the email, I, I don't think it's a top priority right now. It's just an opportunity that I, that I think we all see in making things a little bit better, streamlined, simple. Great. OK. Uh, well, if there aren't any questions on this, we can move on to roundtable. Uh, there aren't actually any roundtable topics, uh, except that uh, reminder for the mobile meeting that was always on Wednesday, is next Wednesday. Uh, you have the etherpad there. For uh, more information, you can just go through that one. Um, okay, let's move on to Firefox desktop. Tyler.
Uh, actually, I, so I can take this one. So this week okay. we're working on sentiment report 21. Uh, we've also got our snippet surveys going out to uh, collect sentiment, and we'll be able to get the star rating for desktop, which is something that we don't uh, normally have the opportunity to do. Uh, thankfully, 21 has been a pretty stable release, so it's given us the opportunity to work on some of these things as opposed to fighting fires the entire time. Um, and just to skip ahead real quick, I'm going to steal some of Roland's thunder here. Uh, we're also working this week on the first Android sentiment report. So this will be the first release that we're going to have, one for both desktop and for Android. So uh, everybody be on the lookout for that. It's going to be pretty awesome. Sweet. Thank you. Any questions for Matt? If not, Full get ready. Ahead. Full steam ahead. <laughs> okay, Firefox Android. Um, yes. <laughs> there are the help articles day, today. Uh, not today, Thursday. I have a list of edits there. Um, Firefox 21 is great. And um, we are uh, releasing Firefox 22 on Intel, x86. Um, and there will be a blog post soon from somebody, not me, with all the official details. Um, and that's it. What kind of what kind of devices are those? Few and far between. But I, I feel I hear there will be um, more coming out. Oh. Uh, there is most notably probably the only one that Tara and I can get is the Fire uh, Motorola Razor Eye. Uh, Asus oh. introduced a tablet in the last month or so, and then there's going to be a whole bunch this summer to be announced, or announced last week, and I haven't caught up yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roland, you're always so fun. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, can I get Roland, that? you have this, you have this weird, uh, I think, gift that Whenever you speak up, you all just I I you, I just notice everyone else is smiling a little bit more. <laughs> I, it's just something that I I think is worth recognizing. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, yeah, it's pheromones. Oh no, we can't do pheromones over the internet. I don't know that. Uh yeah, and the Firefox Android sentiment report. Uh, Madalena, can I? Yeah, which you'll put a link in, right, or something. <laughs> sure. Sentiment report. It's public, right, Matt? Yeah, so uh, we we create a PDF version of it that we can uh, share publicly. So we'll be sure to get that up. We can get it up on the Sumo blog when it's out too. Perfect. Yeah. If I skip ahead to Thunderbird, um, we're having a test day on um, Wednesday, and it's crucial because we're having a general release in September, and this is the time we can find the bugs for the September release. So there is a link on the wiki on the Etherpad. Please check it out. And I will be there in the TVQA channel as well as my normal channels on Wednesday. Thank you. So one related thing about that, I absolutely agree, Mac. We should we should blog about this because uh, this is a big milestone. Uh, I don't know who should do it, but yes. maybe Tyler or yeah, someone. Yeah, be great. Tyler, Tyler and Roland, actually, if they want to get together and, and work on that, that'd be great. OK. Congratulations, Roland. You got more work. <laughs> oh, blog yes. posts are easy, which is why I never do them, right? So yeah, Tyler, if you uh, can get me the PDF, and then, then we can quickly collaborate. Sounds good. All right. So we had some fun. We decided on some things to do. Thank you, Roland. Um, so we can move on. Um, next one is Firefox OS. Uh, so Michelle is not here, neither is Ralph. It's basically for you guys to read the wiki. Um, I'll just go through quickly what um, updates they have posted here. So they have, we have 30 articles localized already, which is absolutely great. So thank you everybody, all localizers and KB editors. Um, so more about Firefox OS the, this week. We need to work on marketplace articles, scan responses for form and Twitter, and adaptive app search FAQ. Um, so if you guys want to get involved, that's the way to go. All right. Any more questions? Any questions for Firefox OS? Not that anybody can answer them right now, but we can put them there. 
Okay, if not, no, we can move no. on. Yeah. Question, <laughs> Sorry, no go question. on. No I was going to say no questions, but but just to, to quickly give you an update that uh, we're continuing to make progress with all of our partners, and we now have um, you know contact people with our partners, and we're working on kind of ironing out all the details of how we work together. And so it's pretty it's pretty exciting that everything is coming together. And uh, so just wanted to share that we we are pretty much good to go on all fronts right now, which is very exciting. Yeah, great stuff. All right, um, Thunderbird, we have covered that. Then let's move on to metrics. I guess Kadir is not here. Um, Which means that Ebay is driving this, right? Yeah, Ebay. The frozen Ebay is driving it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> maybe Ebay is not driving it. Well, we can move to community updates until he comes back. Um, so just a quick thanks to everybody who participated last Thursday in the Sumo uh, Back Triage Day, which was organized by um, Leeds and the Bugmasters team. So a lot of people helped triaging some bugs and you know just clearing a bit the backlog because there are bugs there that have been filed since 2009. Um, so it was great effort from everybody and thank you so much for participating. Um, I do not have any official results uh, yet from Liz, but I will ask her and we'll see how we did. And one thing about, uh, yeah, good job actually. <laughs> and, and then I obsessed by talking about myself. I just wanted to call <laughs> out that uh, last week we had a, a sumo day and I did not participate at all, but I'm, I will participate this week, so it's just I'm behind. Uh, I was catching up on a lot of stuff. So just if you, I, I don't know how often if you, or if you ever look at the metrics, uh, Madalena, but if you saw I that, do. I, I have. I have all of you right here on the yeah, in the list, so, so I know. Just wanted to make sure that I don't. I practice what I preach. <laughs> it's very important right. that everyone participates. Is what I'm trying to say, yes. and I that you know, it doesn't make sense for me to say that if I don't participate myself. So that's, there's me apologizing for being late, but I will get to it. I will watch you. Anyway, I was, I was happy last, last week because, um, I mean, happy and sad because Ralph was, kept stealing my, my threads. <laughs> I like, Ralph, stop. I, I just, I know the answer to this one. Let me answer it. And he was like, oh, so I'm sorry he's not here. Um, Okay, is e by back? No, he's no, not. No, the okay. open bandwidth bandit strikes again. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, hello. Hello. So you want to talk a bit about metrics, e by? Uh, yeah, not that much. I, I haven't updated uh, the metrics section. There's just one important thing that we're moving the CTR from being self-calculated on the platform to take the information that we're already capturing in Google Analytics. So that should make the code a little bit more simple. And that's what Ricky and the rest of the developers love to do. So expect some changes, hopefully this week on the CDR. It shouldn't impact the metric. We have some historical data and analytics already, so we are, we're all good. But if anyone sees something that is just weird, just let us know. All right. Thank you. Any questions for Ibai? Take one, take two. Okay, we can move on to Elton N. Rosanna. I think we've covered this part, but there might be more to it. Um, no, I just. Yeah. No, I just wanted to uh, say thank you to all the. Um, uh, localizers, uh, you know, we had a lot of pressure for the people localizing Firefox OS, and uh, they're doing a great job. They're keeping yeah. it up. Um, so thanks, thanks a lot, everyone. Great job, and keep doing that's it. awesome. Thank you. And yeah, how? And I love this new silent, <laughs> muted claps all the time. Like that's that's. <laughs> yeah, I think we we keep saying this every meeting, but uh, I would like to keep saying this every meeting. <laughs> 
yeah. uh, because I mean, all the the guys who are doing Firefox OS translations are doing great, and I know there there's a lot of pressure. So, thank you guys once again, and we'll say this in the next meeting as well. Have Have we heard any feedback on how things are going? Like, are 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 the things we can do to make the process better, or are people generally happy? I mean, it sounds like everyone is just uh, plowing through it. Uh, is that your sentiment too, or? Yeah, I think it's it's going pretty well. I mean, I didn't get any feedback that, I mean, things can be better all the time, but it seems that the process that we have now is is, is pretty good for everybody. Um, so, and I think you can see that because you can see the results, right? So we're pretty much up to date. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to, to make sure that that's, that's good, really good news. Yep. All right, if you don't have any more questions for us, let's move on to knowledge base, Michael. Not much. Um, there's a link to the Elton N forum, the Firefox 22 and other updates. Um, and I will be at the Open Help Conference this weekend um, talking about Sumo and the knowledge base and how we help people. Which means I'll miss next Monday's meeting because I'll be on a plane on the way back from the Open Help Conference. And in fact, I will be the same situation on a plane on, the, on my way back. So I will also miss next week's meeting. OK, we will write that down. I will make sure that, yeah, it's, it's probably written on the down calendar somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> in the in calendar. a calendar somewhere. The I'm attending calendar. the summit planning. so. There actually be, I think, around 80 people in total. I think 50 paid staff and 30 uh, volunteers will participate in, in basically planning this whole summit thing. That's going to happen at three places at the same time. So it's going to be hopefully very, you know, very exciting and an opportunity for for us as a group. I'm, I guess I'm representing our group uh, to um, make sure that it, it becomes the best one for for us and for the for the for the entire organization so far. But it's also going to be the biggest. Uh, I'm, I'm freaking out about the number of people <laughs> who are going to attend this time, but it's also pretty cool. I look forward to meeting all the people who are just just me in video, or at least ten new people. It's my uh, yeah. plan. ten new sumo contributors. Summit. You know that it's going to yeah. be a pretty big summit when you need eighty people to plan it. That's my way of looking at it. All right. Any questions for Michael? If not, we can move on to the sport forum. And I want to say once again, thank you to everybody who participate in the Sumo Day Lake, except David. Uh, <laughs> I assume that everyone else but did participate though, right? Everybody else did participate. Um, but anyway, David will pick it up again next week, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys. Uh, you did a great job. There were a lot of questions, 120 questions, um, wow. which is a bit strange for this period of the year because normally the questions are going down, but this time they went up. Um, so we had 89% of the questions answered. Um, and this makes me move to the next topic, which is the contributors of the week, because I think it's very important um, that that I mentioned two guys who are very, very new. I haven't even had the chance to meet them yet. Uh, but last week, they absolutely kicked ass in the best way possible. So Uptown uh, 22 and Kolba Bomb, they're just in a week, they made it to top 25. And Uptown 22 had like seven solutions in a day, which is <laughs> a very big thing. So Wow, I don't think I've ever had that. I'm looking yeah. for one solution. Yeah. And if you look at uh, his posts, he's like taking so much time in replying every question and following up. And it's like a whole thread of following up and following up again. So it's absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much um, for doing this. I mean, I know how hard it is to be new and you just get your head around the, all the questions and you just did everything in a week. So. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, so these are like my my uh, <laughs> my nominations for the contributors of the week. If you guys have any other, um, please do. But okay, I just wanted to specify. 
Yeah. Could you repeat Sorry? what Col Colba bomb did? I'm, I'm just, I just want to capture it in the notes too, but but I I'm that part. I missed that part. He's he's very very new and he made it to top twenty five already. So he has like oh. loads loads of answers and solutions. Awesome. So, if any guy, anybody has any other suggestion for contributors of the week, if not, we'll just give the glory to these two guys. I think it sounds like the right okay. set of people. <laughs> yeah, and and before we go on, I just want because we had that unicorn thingy. Um, I know it wasn't my turn, but I just wanted to do this, um, just to show sign of love for all our contributors, not only the ones who made it on the. Wait, please. It's a very, very big art. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, if you guys see it. So Whoa. this is for all, all the sumo contributors. Um, I'll keep it here on the in the Berlin office. And you know, if anybody wants to visit and hold this beautiful heart, please come along. So this is for <laughs> all you guys. Oh, wow. Thank you so ah. much for all the great work. I'm sorry, Rosanna, you're not here, so we can both. I uh, want to do it. <laughs> yeah. so can, is it inflatable? I, can you, can no, you kind no, I was carrying it through the tram like this today on my way to work. It was great. No, it's like and, but it wasn't today kilo. that you got kicked out of the tram because you didn't yes. have a valid ticket, was it? It was today as well, yeah. <laughs> so maybe it was because of that. <laughs> so imagine <laughs> me with a valid ticket being kicked out of the tram and with this huge heart. That in, is in like the arms. weirdest <laughs> contradiction ever. I know, I know. It's just talk escalated. about jumping on the wrong person on, in, on the tram. I know. I just yeah. show love. Where's the heart in Germany? Sorry, <laughs> Germans. It's not... a good question. <laughs> yeah. So I'll keep it here. If um, anybody wants to see it again, that looks like a it's good for sleep. Pillow. I can always sleep on that in Berlin. Yeah, it's actually a it's a pillow, so you can sleep on it. So that's a, that's a great story, actually, and that that's uh, that means that I'll say mine until next week. Uh, so you have something to look forward to then. Actually, two weeks from now because I won't be here next week. So you just bought me two weeks of more time to come up with a powerful story. Oh, well, it's gotta be awesome Excellent. now, David. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like yeah, I need to top this thing. It's gonna be hard. Anyway, I'll work on it. All right. So I guess we made it in. Half an hour. Um, so, anybody, any other questions, thoughts, comments, anything to talk about? Now is the time. Well, I would say we're four weeks, give or take, from launch. So, uh, you know, I said full steam ahead when uh, Matt talked about his particular part of the whole thing that will lead to successful launches. Um, I, you know, we all need to have full steam ahead. We're, we're so close to the finish line now. So, so talk to each other, figure out you know what who who needs help, uh, over communicate. I think of Gordon Ramsay when he's like trying to to uh, coordinate things in the kitchen, and he's like the, the the thing he says all the time is communicate, communicate, communicate. Talk to each other. Uh, you know, confirm what you hear from other people. And so this is my encouragement to, to, to instill a little bit of Gordon Ramsay in every one of us so that we can have a, a truly successful launch in just four weeks. And that's it. So who's willing to confirm what you guys just heard from me? Communicate, communicate, communicate. communicate, communicate. communicate. <laughs> there you go. Well, Gordon Ramsay is not yelling at me. I'm a bigger, fa I'm a bigger fan of the TV, uh, Spanish TV host, uh, like the Spanish chef TV host who just base their show into jokes and, and comedy. But I take that communication as long with as some communic sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Can, can we do that? Add humor to it, yeah. Don't, don't add aggression, add humor. I, I like that. That's, a, that's yeah. a nice distinction. That's what yeah. makes us unique. But, but continue to communicate clearly and openly. All right. That's well, all I fun. have to add. Bye. Bye. All right.